Hi, I'm Anthony, and in this video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will discuss particle size and particle shape of electrode materials. Particle size has a direct effect on the diffusion of lithium ions, whereas particle shape will have an effect on the homogeneity of the battery slurry. Depending on the size of the particles, the instrument used is either based on dynamic light scattering technology, or DLS, or on laser diffraction. And particle shape is measured with a technology called dynamic image analysis. Electrode materials usually have a particle size range between 5 and 20 microns approximately. So, laser diffraction technology, which covers a particle size range of 40 nanometers to 2.5 millimeters, is a very well suited technique for battery industry. With this technology, there are two modes of analysis, dry and wet. The selection will depend on the eventual process where the powders will be used. For electrode material, the wet mode is more commonly used. Once you select the analysis mode in the software, in this case wet, you move to select the reconstruction mode, then the type of materials you are analyzing. The analysis starts with a background measurement first. As soon as the sample is added, you can see a live camera image of the circulating liquid. Pressing continue will start the measurement. The analysis stops once the size distribution is computed and the median particle size of electrode material is automatically calculated. For particles that are in the nanometer range, DLS is a better suited technology since it covers the range of 0.3 nanometers to 10 microns. This is applicable to electrode additive materials such as binders, crystalline silicon, or carbon black. For DLS measurements, the sample is placed in a cuvette. In the software, select the type of cuvette used, such as reusable glass or quartz, or disposable cuvette, then select the material type that is being analyzed and the solvent type. For optimum results, you would want to see a monomodal tight distribution of particle size. This will have a positive influence on the different steps of the battery manufacturing process. Additional to particle size, the shape of particles would be very useful to determine. This characteristics will have an influence on parameters such as homogeneity of the battery slurry and the quality of the coating onto current collectors. For that, dynamic image analysis can be used. There are three sample dispersion options for dynamic image analyzer. Dry jet with compressed air, free fall or gravitational fall, and liquid flow, also known as wet dispersion. Each dispersion unit is suitable for a specific range of applications and particle size, but overall, the dynamic image analyzer has a wide dynamic range and will handle particles in the size range of 0.8 micron to 8 millimeters. For data acquisition, depending on the particle size distribution of the electrode material, a magnification mode is selected among zoom, standard, or both. Additionally, the automatic stop analysis criteria can be selected. This can be based on measurement time, number of particles, or number of images collected. Once the stop criteria are met and the analysis is automatically stopped, the results are then displayed both graphically and quantitatively. And you can select to view individual images of particles in a specific size range. This will provide comprehensive information about the electrode material and can help optimize its production process. So in a lithium-ion battery cell, particle size distribution of electrode material will directly influence the power density and the energy density of the produced battery. And the particle shape will play a role during the manufacturing process of battery slurries. 